wake up you too wake up america what is going on y'all coming back at you with another video like comment and subscribe to my channel hit that bell for notifications um so this gonna be a little little story time little something about what i battle with my masturbation story and pornography story and how i overcame it and and god delivered me from it so because one thing you need to know is that masturbation and pornography is of the devil it is it's of the devil it's, it's of the enemy of the devil and most people don't understand this most people don't understand that when they sit there and they they masturbate and then they watching that pornography you don't understand what you just what you just let in now mind you man look i deal with this so heavy not masturbation anymore. I, you know, I don't deal with masturbation, but I deal with, I deal with, you know, getting tempted. You know, when you single and you're not in a in a relationship, and you just feel like you're just so lonely, like you, and like at nighttime you be laying there, you be trying your heart. I, you know, it, it tries your hardest not to look at pornography. Because, mind you, when you've been doing it for so many years and you get delivered from it, it's still, it's still going to, you know, you still, you got the Holy Spirit in it, but, mind you, we still in the flesh. Still in the flesh. But if you have the Holy Spirit, it will help you fight off those urges, you know. It will help you fight off them urges. That's what people don't understand. Understand that when you when you watching this when you watching this stuff and you sit there and you and you you know you fighting not to masturbate you fighting not to to do that stuff that's that's all of the enemy because masturbation listen to the listen to the name of it masturbate you know masturbation master who's the god of this world who's who's the god of this world satan and when you masturbate listen to the word bait you are bait you are bait to him so when you when you sit up there and you and you've been doing this you've been doing it for so long you know you've been you like oh i've been doing this for years like you your your body gets so used to it and I don't know if y'all heard anything about semen retention. You know, semen retention. Semen retention, that's that's something where you hold your nut in. You hold your semen in. You know, and I wish this, I wish many more people would hear about this. I wish many more people would hear about this. Because if, if you hold your nut in and your semen, do you know how strong that is? You know how, you know that, do you know what it can do? Do you know what, with your nut? Like with your your semen, it holds vitamins, proteins, all that. You know, it makes you it improves your life. You will lose anxiety, you know, depression. It will fight off sexual urges, all that. It works. Semen retention work for that. So I, I recommend people to jump on that and do it because it will really change your life and it will really help you. But when you when you sit up there and you masturbate every day, you lay you land in your room, you look at them videos, and you masturbate, you know, you you ran all out of lotion and stuff, and you, then you go back to Walmart, and you go to food line and stuff, and you and you go buy some more lotion or something, and you masturbate. Do you understand that? That's not helping you at all. Stuff like that is not helping you. Stuff like that, when you see stuff like that, you, you know, those videos, those. Those porn videos stay in your mind. They, it, them porn videos corrupt your mind. It, like, it corrupt your mindset. So, like, when you, if you're not on semen retention, and you're not practicing that, them urges are definitely coming at you hard. And then you're going to be thinking about them videos in your head, even while you at work or wherever you at. You're going to be thinking about them videos, and boom. Boom. You... You can't wait till as soon as you get home, you're going to jump right on that porn website and you're going to start masturbating. Y'all, I dealt with this. I dealt with it, man. For real. Like, it's, it's, it's no joke. 
it's not it's not no nothing to play with because that enemy will come at you hard through especially pornography pornography sex is something that's really out of hand in this world nowadays you know it's really out of hand and i wish more people would teach about this who knows about it and so when you my story is you know it started me at a young age you know i started at a young age i started when i was what like seven i think i was seven when i first started watching when i first seen my first pornography video and you know from then on i you know the enemy wants to this is his you i'm listen listen know this the enemy he wants to get you at a at a young age as a kid because when you if he can get you at, as a kid it can stay inside of you and you can grow you can grow to to be doing that until you order so your body so you'll be so used to it it'll be hard for you to stop you see that it'll be hard for you to stop so and when you when you when you start at a young age your body gets so used to you releasing to you releasing your your semen and stuff and so it's gonna be so as you get older it's gonna be stronger and stronger and stronger because you do know that your urges your your sex drive gets more stronger as you get older you know so and that's what happened with me when i was a kid i started watching porn videos then when i was 12 i remember i was 12 years old when i started uh when i i first masturbated you know and from then on i got hooked to the feeling and then i kept masturbating which everybody you get hooked to the feeling it's, it feel good you know when you bust a nut it feel good like come on now and you get used to the, you get so hooked on the feeling and then yeah it stays with you and so so you know, all the years go by. I'm steady watching porn videos. I'm steady watching. I'm steady masturbating all the time. You know, um, like down there like four times a day. I couldn't even go to sleep without masturbating, cause it do put you to sleep, man. Now, of course, busting nut puts you to sleep. But um, and so when you when you doing this, when you doing this, you know. When you look at them porn videos, you give you don't know that when you look at them porn videos, you let demons into your life. You let out demons into your life. You let out demons come into your life and they and and they uh they sit there they come into your life, jump inside your body, because you do know demons need a need a body to do their work in. And those porn and stuff, only fans and Reddit and all that, man, it's so bad, you know. They even created Reddit. They created OnlyFans and stuff. Now, people out here making making little money on, on OnlyFans, you know. And I say little money because, you know, some people making millions on it. But you're doing it the wrong way. You're making money the wrong way. That's demonic. That's the that's the devil's way of making money. And it ain't gonna last you, it ain't gonna last you long. And whatever you buy with that with that OnlyFans money, you ain't gonna keep it. I'm just telling you this, and you heard it from me first. You ain't gonna keep it when you uh buy the you you get a new apartment or something or in a new car with your OnlyFans money. If God didn't bless you with it, it ain't gonna last. And I'm and I'm just I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm just gonna be honest with you. You know, because so many people feel like they doing something, they balling now, they balling out of control because they getting a little money on OnlyFans. Well, um. You know, what I got to say about that is you're not balling out of control. You're not on the right path. You're not doing you're not doing the right. And like I once again, if God didn't bless you with it, you ain't gonna keep it. So moving on, um, you know, my story and then so as I got older and stuff, I got older and go I got older and older and then I got nineteen. So when I turned nineteen, no, it was twenty. When I turned twenty, I didn't realize I See, I woke up. The Most High woke me up for me to understand. For me, you know, um, the chosen ones. He he woke me up and and he showed me the real meaning behind masturbation and you know what's really going on with pornography. You know, so he sent people sent people my way to teach me about what's what that stuff is really what like what's really going on because once again, everything is spiritual. Everything is spiritual. You know. It happened in the spiritual realm first, then it comes to the earth. Remember that. So, 
then when you think about it, he showed me that pornography is nothing but you being controlled by a demonic spirit. It's just nothing but a demonic spirit that's that's taking control of your body, it's, and that's making you masturbate, and that's making you watch pornography. Well, that's making you uh. Some people just do it just because they can't they can't control their their urges of watching. You know, when they get the sex urges and they single and stuff, even people in relationships they want to go watch pornography because they don't know. People don't understand that watching pornography is demonic. People don't don't know that. People don't understand that. You know, people don't understand that. And when you sit in there and you watching all that stuff, you watching that pornography, you watching that uh um Reddit the Reddit videos or OnlyFans and stuff, because it was me, y'all, it was me. I can I can relate, I can resonate, I, that's why I'm telling y'all my story. I can tell you because this stuff will take a, a big a, a big hold of your life. It's a demonic stronghold, you know. And when you got that demonic stronghold on you, just like them, um, uh, what's it called, um, uh, homosexuality spirits. Those are demonic strongholds on you. And when you see so many people talk about, this is what people be saying, demon time, demon time. Those are demonic spirits. Why would you want to go around talking about you want demon time? Why would you want to do that? Oh, wow, let me guess, because you you following this world. You in this world, but we in this world, but we're not of this world. Most people are, are of this world. If you plan a part of this world, you are of this world. And I mean that out of love, and I mean that out of respect. You know, this is, I'm showing love to you. The, the most High told me to show love. I'm showing, I'm, and he, he said, most of the time, showing love don't mean telling, telling them what they want to hear. And I'm telling you what you don't want to hear, because... Most people are playing a part of this world. You are you most people are of this world. And once again, the most high said, if you if the world loves you, then the love of the father is not in you. But if the world hates you, keep in mind that the world hated him first. So if the world hates you, you on the right path because you speaking the truth. But if the world loves you, you on the wrong path. Who whose side are you on? Well, I'm not gonna say everybody's on the wrong side if um if the world if people love you. I'm not saying everybody on the wrong side because of that, because there's most pastors in this world, like I say like Bishop T D Jakes and stuff. I don't I don't know if you know what he's doing in his personal life, but it's a lot of people that love him because he speaks the truth. So when you when you speak the truth, people gonna love you. You know, people some people gonna love you, some people gonna hate you. So when you when you sit there and and you 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 play a part of this stuff, you just working for the for the devil. And when you work for the devil, judgment day is gonna be real ugly for you. When you work for the devil, and that's just me keeping being honest. So when you think about about this, also this pornography and masturbation, I struggled with this for years, y'all. When I got delivered from it, you know. I finally understood what was going on with me. I finally understood why I was getting taken control of like that. You know. And so, um and so when I when I started when I found out about semen retention, it really helped me. It really helped me uh to get rid of this this porn porn addiction. Semen retention will help you do that. But God bless people with self control. And free will, self control. Where you you was you were able to control yourself. Most people don't want to because they're so addicted to the feeling. Most people don't want to stop because they want to get that feeling. People know about fornication. People know about all this stuff, but they don't care. They want to they want to continue to live their life. They want to continue to do what they want to do. People got to wake up. Why do you think so much corruption is going on right now in this world? Why do you think that? And you see it's mostly wicked people that is this corruption is happening to. And you wicked and you corrupted and you living for Satan? You you better you better wake up and, and get back on the righteous side we'll get, if you was ever on it. Come to the righteous side. Come to the light. Get out of the darkness. Come to the light. Because being in, being in darkness and being in and all that 
spiritual bondage and stuff, you know, it's not going, it's, it's, it's not helping you, you know, it's not helping you, it's not helping you to, you know, people out here smoking, people out here drinking, people out here, you know, having sex and fornication, adultery, man, this stuff is, this stuff is demonic, y'all, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta cut it out, this stuff is demonic. And when you, you gotta, you know, pornography, pornography is something that is running wild in this world. Like, every day they try to promote this stuff. They try to promote this stuff, you know? So, what I did, what I did for me to continue to, to fight off this pornography addiction, what I did was I cleared out my whole phone. I cleared my whole phone out. I didn't, you know... I didn't even keep no old contacts in. I got rid of old contacts. I got rid of old pictures. I got rid of anything that reminded me of anything sexual and stuff. I even uh, deleted my Instagram. I made a whole new Instagram. Cleared it. You know, I had to start all over on it. Um, You know, I had to do all that. I got rid of all that stuff, y'all. I did, you know... Um, that's what I had to do. I had to, I had to start all over for everything. <sighs> Y'all, I'm tired, man. You know, I've been up, I've been up early. I've been up early, you know, studying, reading the Bible and stuff, you know. But back to this video, um, so basically, if you're going through this pornography addiction right now, if, you, if you're going through this, um, masturbation and stuff, it's nothing but the enemy, y'all. It's nothing but the enemy. It's just the enemy that's sitting there. He, he, that's the way he know that sex is out of hand. And he's suppressing the power of the air. He run through technology. He run, he run through these phones and all this stuff, this technology. So when you see all this stuff going on, this technology, man, and you, you go on a website and you see naked people on there and stuff with sex out of hand, man, Satan got so many people wrapped around his finger, man. It don't make no sense. But well, people don't care. People don't don't care about that. People you tell people about it, but then they just they just brush you off. They're gonna they're gonna do what they want anyway. You know, people gonna people gonna gonna brush you off. People not gonna care about what you got to say. People ain't gonna people like man I, man who is man who is this dude trying to tell me what the man who is this dude bro? I've been doing this for for such for such an amount of years and stuff. I've been doing this for so many years and stuff. Man, it don't matter what you've been doing for years. It don't matter what you've been doing for years. You could been doing it wrong for years. You you could be doing it all wrong for years. I'm talking about I've been doing this for years or something. Man, well, keep that same mindset then. Keep that mindset then. You know? Keep that mindset. Because on Judgment Day, you're going to find out eventually. You're going to find out eventually on Judgment Day. It, man, look. The most high not playing no more, y'all. This pornography, cut it out. This masturbation, cut it out. Cut that stuff out. Cut out fornication. Cut out adultery. Sex is so crazy. Sex is so crazy, y'all. Like, it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense how, how bad... Most people got reprobated minds. If you don't know what a reprobated mind is, a reprobated mind is a person who, who just... Chase after their own lust, their desires. They they turn their head, they they turn the deaf ear to to uh, God's word. They don't want to hear God's word. You, you try to tell them about it. They they brush you off. They they feel like what they doing is right. The the path that they going down is to the path to righteousness, but it's really the path to destruction. So so the Most High said, you know, He gonna take His hands off of you and let you do your own will. That's a reprobated mind person. Can't nobody tell them anything. They they got all the answers. And they you can't tell them what they're doing wrong because they they feel like oh man me and God got a great relationship. Me and God got a great relationship. Me and God we we talk every day and so we I pray to God every day. But you sitting there committing fornication. You sitting there adultery. Getting high out of your mind, uh, crystal meth and all that. People ain't even smoking weed no more. People, people out here doing coke. 
they ain't even doing weed no more. I mean, you might see some weed heads and stuff, some weed people and, and all that and stuff. Like, just a group of people that were just standing right here beside me smoking weed and stuff. And I'm like, man, what in the world, bro? Now, if I would have went up to them and started telling tell them, uh, you know, you know, man, you know what y'all do with this weed and stuff, they, man, they probably, I probably would have gotten a fight with them. Because they probably looked at me like, man, who is this dude walking up on me trying to tell me what I'm supposed to be doing? I try to avoid fights and stuff because I'm still working on myself. If somebody says something crazy to me, then I'm going to be ready to fight. You know, that's what I, that's what I battle with. I battle with stuff like that, you know? And so when you, so when you see people like that, you, you see people like that, people with reprobated minds, man. People with reprobated minds, they don't care. They don't care about, about what God got to say. You tell them about, porn, about fornication and pornography and masturbation, people going to brush it off because pornography is something crazy nowadays. Pornography is running wild, y'all. I'm telling you. Pornography is... Man, they are promoting this stuff. They are promoting this stuff, y'all. Now, they got dudes out here using up all their lotion. Man, it's to a point where I was using Dawn. Y'all, I was using Dawn. You know, I was, but I was <laughs> like, I I would use anything I could find, man. And you got females out here using vibrators and stuff, playing with their finger and their cells and stuff, man. You know, you gotta have self control. God bless everybody with self control. Use it. Use your self control that what He gifted you with. But hey, most people can't, man. Most people. Most people can't can't do that. Most people don't wanna uh don't wanna have self control and all that. You know, most people don't wanna do it. Don't wanna do any of that. But you know, uh, but you know, most people gonna turn a deaf ear to it, and most people gonna listen. You know, it, if you can try, you can attempt to talk to them. Then boom, glory be to God. But if they don't want to listen, like just like I spread this word to you in, in like through the phone. If you don't want to listen, hey, so be it. But hey, it is what it is, man. You know, so like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell, y'all, for notifications when I upload some more videos. Um, uh, if you want to take this message, take it. If you want to turn a deaf ear to it, if you want to turn away from it, you best turn away God's message. So. We just won't gonna keep it like that, you know. Accept it or reject it. Stop watching pornography. Stop masturbating. Stop looking at them Reddit videos. Ladies, I'm talking to the ladies now because I see most of the ladies, ladies doing it. Stop with these OnlyFans. Just because you're getting a little just because you getting some money on there, you ain't getting the you ain't getting the good money. Just like what with drug dealers. You ain't getting the good money. You getting the bad money. That's bad money. Okay? Stop what you're doing. It's not, it's 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 not, it's not good. It's not good, man. I'm telling you, judgment day gonna be something real. So like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, y'all. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you like the video. Don't just watch it and and don't don't just watch the video and not like it. Like the video. Peace. I'm out.